Uh, welcome to Sahali. This is episode three of the foot golf vlog and uh, Sahali is in Clackamas. It is my favorite course and here's one of the reasons why. Check out that. You kick off a cliff. I mean seriously, you kick off a cliff. How dope is that? Uh, that first tee shot's always fun. Uh, booting it off the cliff is just uh, probably the coolest thing about the course, besides uh, just how generally pretty and challenging and stuff it is. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, the cliff is the highlight of hole number one. Um, you'll see a little bit more of it maybe here in a minute. Um, but it's, uh, it's a tough one because you can't even see where the hole is. Like, you're kicking off the cliff and really all you can do is boot the ball into space. So... Um, you just put it out there and then uh, hope, your, hope your second shot is lined up uh, in a useful spot. So I'm not sure if you can see where the hole is, but there's a bush about center of the frame. And the flag is between me and it. And uh, it's probably mm, 50 yards. So I've got a straight look at it, which is rare. Usually when you kick it off. The cliff you've got all of these trees and stuff potentially to be in the way so here's the third at Sahali uh, directly ahead there is a pond and uh, the tee marker is set back pretty far today. I gotta move my ball back behind him, obviously. Uh, but it's uh, so it's a little longer than it usually is, or it's gonna play a little longer than it usually is. Uh, you can see the road there, just where that guy went with the tractor, and uh, just beyond that is where the pond is. So you don't want to overdrive the road too much, but you don't want to set yourself up too far on this side of the road because then you got a long approach shot. Uh, the hole is, is to the left of the pond down there. You probably can't see it from here. So I didn't hit it well enough because I didn't get it past the road because I wanted it right right about there in center of frame. You can see the uh, path bridge there and then the flag just beyond it. That's where I'm trying to go. Well, I wish I'd been taking video because I uh, played it almost exactly the way I wanted to. Um, I've got probably a... Uh, maybe a 12 footer for a birdie here, so not bad. Here's the fifth hole. While it's short and it's a par three, and you can't really see, again, it's tough to see the uh flag stick from here but the hole itself is sitting on a bit of a mound we jokingly refer to it as a volcano hole uh, you'll see I'll show you a little bit better when we get closer looking at probably 20 25 yards on the approach here um, there's that little road again coming back through that's in in play there you can kind of see the dirty spot in front of me but there's also uh, a bit of long grass uh, between me and there and then obviously the little uh, mound that the, the hole is sitting on top of so we'll see how this one goes Here we are on the par 5 16th at Sahali. Sorry for the lack of holes between uh, the tee shot and 5 and now, but uh, my phone decided it wanted to overheat. It is almost 90 degrees out today. Anyway, 
So you can see that kind of dark wall looking thing. That's the back wall of the pond. And then the golf hole is just beyond. The foot golf hole is off to the right and you can't see it from here. So it's another one of these holes here at Sahali where you just play it down the middle of the fairway until you get around the trees and you can see the hole. And because I hooked my tee shot to the left, I'm going to go all the way across the fairway. You can barely see the 16th flag over there. And it's almost a full, it's more than a full shot for me, I think, to reach that. So it won't be on in two, that's for sure. There's the pond on 16. And you will note the absence of my ball in it, which means, there it is, I missed the pond, which is good. Well, I was that close to the eagle. Too much to ask for today, I guess. Anyway, let's finish this off with a birdie. Done. So the 17th and 18th uh, here at Sahali are pretty much, I think they're the two longest holes on the course. Uh, certainly the 18th is the longest. Um, and they're largely unremarkable other than they're long. Uh, the 18th, though, uh, when I get when we get up to the hole, I'll show you. It's the hole is kind of tucked off strangely, um, and depending on how you approach it, you might have a bunker in play. So I'll show you uh, when we get up there. Not what I wanted. So I yanked it way off the left and. It rolled back another, I don't know, 20 feet or so after I after it stopped moving forward. And now I kind of got to aim for the bunker you can see right out there. Uh, or at least aim to the left of it, but it's tough coming out from under these branches. I got to hit it low and hard. Low, but not hard. So my birdie try. I have to go through that. Um, just getting it close is going to be a challenge. I think I have to kind of chip it over the uh, bunker there because if I try and roll it through, it's going to kick way off to the left. Got to love foot golf sometimes. So I got it up over the bunker and I bounced it right about here and it went up over this berm and then picked up a lot more speed than I thought it was going to and rolled way past the pin. That's foot golf. That's how we do it. It's only par, but it still works. And so, uh, that was 18 at Sahali. Uh, golf course here in Clackamas, Oregon. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's such a beautiful place. Um, the owner's a great guy, uh, the GM, Steve, uh, wonderful people here. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, it's just beautiful um, and easily my favorite course in the area. Uh, I mean, you got the cliff to kick off of, you got challenging holes with the two, uh, two holes with water, uh, you got that volcano hole on five. Um, the 13th, which I've actually aced, um, is a short one, but uh, you got to kick it over a, uh, like a, a, a field of reeds or something like that. And uh, the challenge there is getting it uh, high enough to get clear of those, but not hit it too hard so that it rolls so far past uh, the 13th hole. Because on the far side of it, there's actually a, one of those little riverbed things, uh, dried up creek bed uh, things that they have here. And uh, it's, it's a challenge if you, uh, if you overhit it on 13. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, check back at the previous ones, number one and number two, and uh, hopefully keep watching and get out there and play some football.